Remember that iconic moment in Avengers when the team finally clicks together? It can feel like that when you hire the right people for your startup. But everyone should be in their own place, and it's your job as a founder to ensure it. To do that, you should have a very clear understanding of different job positions in tech. Hi, I'm Ilya, the founder of Elekin, a product design agency for SaaS. To make your startup journey easier, today we'll do a deep dive into an often confusing power duo, UI UX designer versus front-end developer. What are their skills, backgrounds, and job responsibilities? Who do you hire? Let's find out. Both UI UX designers and front-end devs work on app development that are essential product design team members. Their final goal is to make the product functional and easy to use. However, they go about it in very different ways. Imagine building a web app as making a suit. UI UX designer is one of who creates the sketch and decides on the color, fabric, and color shape. The front-end developer chooses the best stitching technique, finds a way to make the color stiff, and ensures that the fabric won't change after the wash. Back to tech realities, UI UX designers work on the visual side and user experience. They conduct UX research, build wireframes, UX flows, prototypes, and develop visual elements. Front-end developers work on the app's functionality. They translate all those pretty buttons and pictures into code and ensure that interface elements bring the user to the right page. They also guarantee that the data obtained from the user and app interaction is saved and ready to be processed. Here is where the work of backend developer starts. So UI UX designers' responsibilities include translating broad conceptual ideas into UX design solutions through the wireframe, process flow diagrams, storyboards, visual and graphic designs, sitemaps, and prototypes. Developing user stories and brainstorming interface strategies to improve the platform. Including user research, interviews, and surveys. Gathering and analyzing data to understand user needs. In their turn, front-end developers' responsibilities are feature creations through the CI-CD process and through production release. Testing and troubleshooting across multiple browsers, platforms, and devices. Crafting web pages templates optimized for advanced browsers, but still functional in outdated ones. What skills, method, and tools do UI UX designers and developers use to achieve their goals? First, let's talk about designers. They create the visual appearance of the user interface in graphic software, such as Figma, Sketch, or Adobe XD. But mostly Figma, of course. Proficiency in Figma is a must for every designer. Knowledge of Adobe Creative Cloud programs such as an Illustrator and Photoshop is also useful. Animation tools add up to the basic skill set of a UI designer. Visual communication skills and authentic vision are needed to make the user interface look attractive. Besides that, designers might be aware of current trends in UI UX design to make the design look modern. Or timeless. Aside from that, UI UX designers have to spend a lot of time communicating with users, learning their behavior, empathizing, and analyzing how they interact with the product. User research is one of the most crucial parts of their work. When it comes to front-end developers, it's more important for them to have technical skill than understand the user psychology. They must be proficient in CSS, HTML, and JavaScript and jQuery. Developers should also have experience in using different JavaScript frameworks, as each company requires specific ones. On top of that they should know how to make responsive design, for example, to adjust it to the screens of different sizes. Surprisingly, for some of you, communication skills are vital for front-end developers. They have to communicate with other team members more than other colleagues. They need to talk to back-end developers, product managers, testers, UI UX designers, and sometimes even users. A stereotypical antisocial programmer wouldn't be good at front-end. Finally, front-end developers need to be good at problem-solving. Sometimes, fixing the bugs might take more of their time than coding. Now, let's talk about backgrounds and education. Many UI UX designers come into the profession from graphic or web design, but it's not just must. Often people with very different backgrounds learn UI UX design as a postgraduate or online courses. Some graduate courses in universities offer UI UX design tracks. But as with many other IT jobs, formal education is far from the most important bit. Don't get discouraged if your applicants don't have formal university training. A portfolio is far more critical than diploma. Check out our video on hiring the best designer if you need some tips. Front-end developers also can have various backgrounds, although they are more likely to have some kind of tech degree. These specialists need a solid education in programming, but one can often get into no less successful through online courses than through a bachelor degree. Many good UI UX designers and front-end developers come from various different and sometimes unexpected educational backgrounds, both tech and humanities. 
studies. So unfortunately, the education line in the CV won't tell you much about the person's actual qualifications. Now that you have an understanding of designers and developer specific roles, let's talk a bit about how does designer and developer cooperation look like in real life. For example, a cloud-based data management platform wants to expand a new market. It fails to do so initially, so the owners realizes that they need redesign to improve user experience. So UI UX designer conducted competitors research to find out what features the app could add, research user scenarios and user flows and recreated data flows from scratch, developed wireframes and prototypes to redesign the platform, created a simple but intuitive visual design, added new features and UX patterns to enhance user experience and often traditional value to users. That's what Elkins designers did for data stream app to increase its competitive advantage. In turn, a front-end developer translated the redesigned UI into code, ensured that new design was responsive and optimized for various devices and screen sizes, implemented interactive elements such as hover effects and smooth transitions between the pages. As you can see, UI UX designers and front-end developers work closely in product teams. Efficient communication between them is crucial for the success of the final product. This is why teamwork and communication skills are present in most soft skills requirements of job openings. That's the best case scenario, but what if you don't have the budget for two skilled professionals? Can a UI UX designer build a product all alone? The answer is, unsurprisingly, it depends. If it's just a simple early stage prototype you need for testing, then yes, developer skills are not necessary. With a spread of no code while building tools like Bubble and Webflow, everybody can bring some functionality to life. And you can live without a UI UX designer if you outsource that part of the work to a third party agency. That's exactly what Elegance clients come to us for. However, if your product is complex, it is UI UX plus frontend rather than UI UX versus frontend. So you'd rather get creative in how you get both specialists rather than how you can do it without one. Hope this video was helpful to you. Please hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next one.